For the final ILO on the topic, let's look at how systems thinking relates to sustainability. The iceberg is a useful model and metaphor to consider some of the issues. Firstly, let's look at the story under analysis as you would an iceberg, where at first just the tip of the iceberg is seen. This is typically a single event that seems relatively harmless. In issues of environmental sustainability, for example, this is usually a single human action, throwing away a recyclable bottle, dumping oil down a drain, or driving a short distance instead of riding your bike or walking. However, when you start to look under the surface, and in systems thinking, the iceberg is a metaphor to explore how the unseen but still present structural and cultural influences that lie below the waterline are driving human choices within a particular system. Now let's look at the different levels in the iceberg model. At the top, you have the event. And this describes what has just happened. Next, consider if the tip of the iceberg might represent a trend. Does it happen more than once? And if so, what does the pattern of events look like? You can describe this in words or in a behavior over time graph that you were introduced to in the previous ILO. In terms of the structures, you need to understand what the forces are that contribute to those particular patterns. There are many kinds of structures out there. Some are natural and some are human made. Examples of structures found in nature include the food chain and predator-prey relationships, literal structural shapes of organisms like plants, trees, animals, etc. Examples of structures that are made by people include the rule of law, um, also literal structures like a building or a fence. The mental model really is goes to the heart of the issue. What are the assumptions that we make about certain events? What is it, in other words, about our thinking that allows certain situations to persist? To illustrate the iceberg model, let's look at the issue of whale extinction. In terms of the event, we know that certain whale populations are nearing extinction. And this is what we see. So this is the observable behavior. Now, if we turn our attention to the pattern, if we were to look at a behavior over time graph, you'll notice a decline in the whaling population over time. And there seems to be a pattern and it's a recurring event based on a reinforcing loop. In terms of the structures, this is quite a controversial issue um, and a lot of it has to do with lack of governance and legal enforcement of illegal whaling. So the absence of these structures means that hunting of whales therefore is, hasn't been managed successfully. And finally, you have to ask yourself, what assumptions do people make about whaling? For some people, it's a food source. For others, there's the assumption that it's an unlimited um, resource or that they have a right to claim those resources. So our assumptions to a large extent create and support the very structures and legal basis for hunt the hunting of whales. Now that we've covered the main aspects of today's lecture, I'd like you to have a look at this, these figures which illustrate what the habits of a systems thinker would look like. There's actually a more detailed diagram, this might be hard for you to see in, in the video, um, under this section on the LMS. Have a look at these various components, see if you understand them and also see to what extent you th currently think this way and how it is that you might improve your thinking to be more systematic over time.
Finally, to see if you can apply some of the content from this week's lecture, please watch the Ellen MacArthur video on what a circular economy is, and then read the short case study on Rico, a printer manufacturer from Japan. Then can you please answer the three questions and you'll be able to find all these materials on the LMS page under this topic and particularly this ILO. Thanks for watching this week's lecture. As a final reminder, please make sure you read the prescribed readings, complete all the homework activities related to today's topic and also the topic quiz before attending your seminar.